Subaru! Let's go on an adventure together! Good morning, Princess. I trust you are awake. This morning you have your arithmetic and history lessons, and the afternoon is reserved for etiquette practice. Princess? irritated than last time. Maybe? 
But it looks like it could use another good stir. All right. I'm gonna finish up her synthesis. I am her apprentice, after all. Besides, I'm starving. Oh, but she might yell at me if I touch it. But it's about to boil over. I'll just give it one quick stir. A teensy little stir never hurt anyone. I think she did it like this. Huh? I don't think it's supposed to smell like that. Maybe I should just stir it a little more. Swirly, swirly. Swirly, swirly. I feel like something's gone terribly wrong here. Alchemy. I see. But is it really that easy to become an alchemist? <laughs> of course, becoming a full-fledged alchemist takes much longer. But you've just taken your first step. Ah, so it's really not so simple, huh? But I'm an alchemist now. Everyone's gonna go nuts when they find out. Congratulations. 
become a truly magnificent alchemist like you, Miss Tultree. Miss... <laughs> Do you really have to call me Miss Tultree? But Miss Tultree is Miss Tultree, Miss Tultree. Hmm... I suppose so. It'll take some getting used to, though. I wonder if Miss Rorona ever felt this way. Oh, but what will your father think of his little princess becoming an alchemist? Don't sweat it. My dad's really understanding. He's pretty much always okay with whatever I decide to do. If you say so. Anyway, let's begin today's lesson by reviewing the basics of alchemy. Okay! I'll do whatever it takes to become the world's most brilliant alchemist. Oh, just a second. I think someone's here. Hello? Ah, I knew I'd find you here, princess. Unless we're in some stuffy formal setting, you said you'd call me by name, remember? Hmm? But this is Miss Totori's workshop. And? Miss Totori's just my teacher, so it's okay. Come on, say it. V very well. Good, that's better. Princess just sounds too... you know. Okay, okay, I understand. There we are. All finished. So, what now, Meruru? Mr. Ruka seemed rather displeased. His mood was... less than amicable. Ugh. I do not want to go back and have to deal with another one of Rufus's stone-faced lectures. Perhaps, but Lord Detsuya is worried as well. If you return to the castle for now. No! I'm not leaving yet! Miss Tolteri, you still have a bunch to teach me about alchemy, right? Good heavens. Then, at least promise me you'll return as soon as you're finished here, okay? I will, I will, I promise. Anyway, let's keep going, Miss Tolteri. Alright. Then let's talk about one of the most important aspects of item synthesis. Collecting ingredients. Alchemy begins with gathering all the necessary ingredient materials. Without these, synthesis is impossible. You'll have to search far and wide for your materials, sometimes traveling to unknown lands. It's a crucial job. Whoa, that sounds great! I want to do that! 
Now hold on just a second. You're not thinking of leaving town, are you? Out of the question! The area outside town is crawling with monsters. They might not be all that strong, but... Oh, well, that's perfect. Courage is another important part of becoming an alchemist. Right, Miss Totori? Courage and recklessness are two very different things, Meruru. But I see you've already made up your mind. Miss Totori, please say something. Don't you think this is all happening too quickly for her? Well, gathering materials is a basic skill, so I'd like her to learn. Moyuri Forest is right nearby. See? Even Miss Totri agrees. Plus, we used to go there all the time. There's nothing dangerous about it. You insist. But only on one condition. I will accompany you myself. What? But I mean, there's nothing for you to even do out there. So much the better. You can protect me from monsters, and I'll protect you from your own over-eagerness. Mm, fine. I guess that's okay. All right, Miss Totori, we're off. Be safe out there. Oh, and take these. They'll come in handy if you get into any trouble. Oh, thanks a bunch. Okay, we better scram before Rufus shows up. Let's go! Where should we go? 
Welcome back, Princess. I've been waiting for you. Ah, uh, oh, uh, well, you see, Rufus, I just... Arithmetic and history in the morning, etiquette in the afternoon. I would like to ask why you neglected your duties in favor of leaving town. Later, in front of Lord Dessier. Young lady, you promised you would stop sneaking out of the castle. Everyone has been worried sick about you. I'm really sorry, and you can lecture me all you want later. But first, I have a favor to ask. No! But, but you haven't heard what it is yet. Your favors are consistently absurd. For your sake, I hope it's nothing as ridiculous as wanting to become a street performer or some such nonsense. Of course it's not something so silly. I want to become an alchemist. Oh, is that all? Well, in that case... What? An alchemist? Yep, it's okay, right? Absolutely not. Out of all possible... Why an alchemist? No, I forbid you. How come? You don't think it's a great idea? We have already welcomed a first-class alchemist to our land. Miss Totary can fulfill all our alchemy needs. And more importantly, as the royal princess, you have your own duties to attend to. What duties? Our kingdom is going to be history once we merge with Arlen anyway, isn't it? 
Who cares if I take some time out to do a little alchemy? Our union with Arla is still five years hence. Until then, we must each fulfill our royal obligations. Royal obligations? Like what? Reading stupid history books and practicing dumb, boring etiquette? You must learn to protect and aid the development of your land to guide your people toward peace and prosperity. Absolutely right. Born into the royal family as we were, such is our burden to bear. Then why haven't we seen any sign of development? Are you sure you've been doing your job as king? Enough squabbling. Regardless, I will not approve of you becoming an alchemist. Do I make myself clear? Fine! Whatever you say, you... you big... poopy head! Poopy head? Hey! Meraru! I'm not finished! Come back here! <sighs> that child never ceases to surprise me. Now she wants to be an alchemist. However, this time is no joke, I fear. She seems surprisingly serious. You're right. She was certainly different from before. What am I supposed to do with her? Your Majesty, I have a suggestion that may allow us to both fulfill her wish and allay your worries. I won't be gatekeeping much longer if I keep letting the princess sneak out. Aren't you ever gonna settle down? I hope all this rampaging around isn't causing my brother too many headaches. Uh, I'm not rampaging around. I mean, sure, maybe I've caused some trouble here and there, but... Huh, at least you can admit that much. But unlike you, he's really busy. So try not to be too much of a pain. I know. I'll try to keep that in mind. Anyway, where are you off to looking all dazed and confused? Hmm? Oh, well that's... undecided. Why don't we head to Miss Totori's workshop for now? Oh, good idea! Maybe Miss Totori can give me some advice. Alright, Lias, see you later! What? Hey, hold on! She never listens to me. Well, at least I know where she's going. But still, what kind of trouble has she gotten herself into this time? I hope it doesn't get out of hand. Ah, oh, welcome back, Meruru. Were you able to gather up all your ingredients? Well, the thing is, I've kind of hit a little snag. I see. Royal duties and kingdom development, huh? Being a princess sounds really complicated. So then, what are you going to do now? I'm not giving up, that's for sure! I just managed to take the first step in becoming your alchemist apprentice. But at this rate, my lifelong dream of seeing the world beyond Arles as a real alchemist will never come true. So that's your true goal, is it? I can't say I'm surprised. You 
you've always been a bit obsessed with the outside world. And that's why I officially refuse to leave this workshop until Dad comes to his senses. Are you sure you want to put that kind of stress on Miss Totori? Oh, don't worry about me. Meruru is free to use the workshop whenever she wants. But growing as an alchemist is going to be very difficult without your father's approval. You're right about that. What can I do to change his mind? Why don't you try showing him how alchemy can help in the development of the kingdom? Oh! Developing the kingdom! That's brilliant! So, how do I do that? Hmm, good question. I'm not sure I can help you there. To aid in the kingdom's development. Oh, maybe we should talk to Mr. Rufus about that. He's more familiar with Arl's kingdom than anyone. He's sure to have some good advice. Hmm, Rufus. You really think he'd be willing to help? I feel like I'd just be asking for another Stone Cold Lecture. <laughs> You're really just no good at dealing with him, huh? Fine. I'll go and talk to him myself tomorrow. But you two must be exhausted from your trip outside. Stay here tonight and we can start fresh in the morning. I've been waiting for you, Princess. Miss Totori has told me everything. Huh? What do you mean? Your royal duty and your love of alchemy. You're trying to find a way to balance them, are you not? Um... Well, not exactly. But I guess it's close enough. After hearing your proposal to use alchemy to advance the kingdom, I've devised a strategy for you. 
Let's begin with the end goal. Princess, it will be your duty to develop the kingdom using alchemy. By helping our kingdom match the growth of surrounding areas, you will be fulfilling your royal duty. Um... I don't really get it. But I should just use alchemy to help people, right? Will Dad be okay with that? That's up to you. He might not say it, but Lord Dessier has high hopes for you. How can you be so sure? I've never seen him react like that before. Lord Dessier is simply concerned for your safety. He knows just how dangerous alchemy can be. What? Uh, never mind. Come with me to my study, and I'll outline my plan in greater detail. Then, allow me to explain. So, that's essentially what I have in mind for you. Were you able to grasp the overall picture? I'm sure it will make more sense once you actually begin your task. As this is your first time, I have prepared a simple assignment for you. There are complaints coming in from soldiers stationed in Moyori Forest regarding a food shortage. Please deliver some food to them as soon as possible in order to improve their living conditions. Okay. Thanks, Rufus. I'll just head over there right now and... One moment, if you please. I'm not finished. Mm. Are you gonna lecture me again? Is that the only impression I've left on you? From now on, you'll be leaving town more frequently. So I'll be assigning you an escort, just to be safe. You may enter! I know he's still in training, but he does have live battle experience. He should be of some help, at least. Listen, it's not like I wanted this assignment. I'm only doing this because my brother asked me to. <laughs> You're so funny, Elias. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Whenever you like. Whoa, really? Are 
Are you sure? Don't you need a place to do your own synthesizing? <laughs> Don't worry. I have two cauldrons here just in case. I've done this kind of thing before, you know. Thank you so much! So now this workshop belongs to you and me, right? Not only that, everything in that container over there is yours too. Oh, so a container is...
Princess, what are you doing here? I heard you were having some food troubles, so I synthesized a pie for you. Dig in and boost that energy. Wow, this looks amazing. Thank you, Princess. I'm feeling better already. Man, I'm so glad I was able to help. And now it's officially mission complete. Good job. We should head back to the castle and report to Mr. Rufus right away. But we went to so much trouble to get out here. Can't we wander around for a while? I'd say no, but it's not like you'd even listen. I guess we have no choice but to follow your lead. Everything seems to have gone well. She's more capable than I imagined. I'll be expecting big things from you, Princess. Um, Princess, I feel bad asking after you brought me that pie and all, but could you do me a favor? What is it? Just tell me what I can do to help, whatever it is. Well, plain grass has been overrunning the forest, choking out the more useful plants in the area. Thank you so much, Princess. <laughs> 